In Scratch, whatever you do, pen will always be in the back layer. So let's test it out. Set pen color to, let's just say this red. Set the pen size to 50 and then pen down. Let's click on it and you can see it's in the back layer. Now you might be thinking you could just go to back layer like this, but that just doesn't work. So sprites are always in front of pen. The only exception are backdrops because of course it's supposed to be a backdrop. Okay, but there's actually a technique where you can get the scratch card to go behind the ball. So what you have to do is use a lesser known pen block. It's called stamp. So here it is. And we'll put a when clicked stamp. And you might not notice any differences now, but you'll see it's a bit pixelated around the edges. Now if we hide it, you can see it's completely pixelated and the red ball is in front of it now. But we're not done yet. What if we want scratch card to be moving? Well, we can do that too. We'll say change x by right here. And we'll get a minus and two times blocks. Now we'll do key right arrow being pressed. And then minus key left arrow being pressed. We'll do times five and times five. Okay, and now forever. And we can see it's moving with this trippy effect now. And we'll just want to remove it with an erase all. And let's just get rid of this. Okay, now it's moving, but the red ball is also moving. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to make a new sprite. We'll call it ball. And we'll just move this over here. And we can delete this. Okay, now when clicked, forever, do this. Okay, so now it got transported to the back again and still moving with it. Well, what you just have to do is delete the red ball from here. So we'll just do pen up and it's gone. Okay, now back to the ball sprite. You can see it's not here. So what we need to do now is one clicked, broadcast message one, and then broadcast a new message called message two. So when I receive message one, I should do this. And when I receive message two, I should do this. And there you have it guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you want to see how to make a pen health bar, then watch this video.